welcome to the Pet Up America show. I'm Contessa with another fun-filled, amazing show for you guys. So make sure you guys stick around. First off, I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and happy holidays to you all. Um, first off on the show, we have a new sexy little pinup kitten. Her name is Vintage Doll, and she's going to be giving a hair tutorial on how to do the Rosie the Riveter hairstyles. So that's going to be a really, really fun, fun segment. And then I'm going to be showing you guys a featured guest who's in our magazine, and they are Vivian of Holloway. Now, talk about a place that has everything. They have dresses and pencil skirts and accessories and pants and shorts and, I mean, everything a little pinup girl could dream of. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And then last but not least, we have the gorgeous Miss Shannon Million, who's going to be doing uh, some interviews, and you guys will see some of the band playing and also some photos from an amazing band called Jason and the Punkettes. So, fun-filled, huge show today, so make sure you guys stick around. So today we're going to be doing a pinup and rockabilly hairstyle, best known as the Rosie the Riveter look. Um, it's a great quick hairstyle. Um, it's kind of my go-to for when I don't have time to do my hair, do victory rolls, or even curl it for that matter. It's just quick, fast, looks cute, um, goes with a lot of stuff because you can choose your bandana to match your outfit. But if you are new to the style, it's really great because it really gives you that rockabilly look or the pinup look without having to know how to do the more complicated styles like victory rolls, which are definitely complicated, so don't feel bad if you haven't got them yet. I am not even that great at them yet, and I've been studying all this for seven years. So um, I will do a victory roll tutorial for you guys as soon as I kind of perfect my own technique with it, because I really want to be able to show you how to roll them in properly and things like that, and give you the best quality video that I can. So um, all you're going to need today is a good teasing comb, whichever one you prefer. This seems to work good for me. Um, you're going to need some bobby pins. I got my bobby pins in here. Um, you're going to need some hairspray and a great bandana or head scarf, whichever you prefer. I uh, lean more towards bandanas personally. This one I got just the other day at Walmart. They always have some fun ones to choose from for only a buck and you can't beat that. But if you have craft stores like um, Hobby Lobby is a great one. Um, or whatever's local in your town, they usually have walls of bandanas for craft projects and stuff like that. So they're and they're always real cheap. They're like a dollar. So um, I'm going to show you how to do a look down, and then I'm going to show you how to do a look up. And um, rolling the bandana is very simple for the look down. You're going to quarter it, make a triangle out of it, like so, and then all you're going to do is roll it in from the point. Just roll, 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 just like that, simple and easy. Just roll it because it's going to go under your hair, so you don't want it too wide. If it's too wide, then it makes sure your hair stick up funny in the back and 
that's not fun. So you can just put it in there, bring it up. If you have Betty bangs like I do, you want to get it right at the base of your Betty bang. Okay, and then you just tie it. Simple, easy, not complicated at all. And then you have your first look. And you can always tease it if you want to tease the crown and then it'll stick up a little bit higher and give you kind of more of that um, rockably bombshell look, which is really fun. Simple tease, just teasing it. I like to tease it afterwards because once you get your bandana in there, it can kind of smash your tease. So if you put your bandana in first, you know exactly where to tease. But it's just your fun. I'm using my camera, my phone as a mirror, so I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys. <laughs> but that's like your first style. Also, another really good one. I'm going to take this one out real fast. Get some bobby pins. All right, the next really good one is going to be doing kitten ears and then putting your bandana over it. Now this one is really fun. I like to do this for car shows and stuff like that. You're just going to remember grab like this. Grab it, grab it. You're going to twist it. And give it that bump. Oh no. My bandana fell on the floor. This is not good. So then you're going to pull it. And you don't want to smash your kitten ears. So try and stay in front of it the best that you can. If you have to fluff them afterwards, that's fine. But you don't want to smash them. So then there's style number two. You got some kitten ears that give it a bump, which is cute. That's kind of like more of a, a sweeter rockabilly uh, bombshell look instead of the big teased, kind of sultry, intimidating hair with <laughs> the big down. But that's number two. Um, if you have a hard time with your bandana slipping back, you can always just take some bobby pins and secure it on the side. So, all right, so now we're going to do the ever famous Rosie the Riveter look. Let's take all this down. Um, you don't have to curl your hair first. Uh, most of the time when I do it, it's because I don't have time to curl my hair or do anything like that. So I have to um, just put it up, I put the bandana up and I'm good to go. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tease it a little bit at the crown. That way when I put the bandana in, it stands up a little bit behind it. I'm just going to pull it back. I have that natural part from doing victory rolls and stuff like that so much. So sometimes it's hard for me to get a good tease. And I'll pull it forward, do some more. And like I said, you don't have to curl your hair. I did because I want to give you guys kind of like the best version of it that I can since I'm doing the video. But you can always just put your hair up in a bun. I mean, or in a clip or something because the bandana is going to cover it anyways. Then we're going to do the sides just a little bit, like so, smooth it out, just kind of working all over the top of my head and down the side a little, teasing, okay, just want it to have a teeny bit of volume in there, like so. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to hit my hair up, I'm going to put it up like this. And it's got that bump in there at the top, which is always great. You want some of that volume. Like smooth out the sides a little. Okay, now right now I have it in a ponytail, like so, ponytail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start wrapping it around. And I'm going to leave a little bit at the top. That way, if you, when you curl your hair, you can bring it up however, um, whatever's best for you when you pull up your hair, depending on your length and stuff like that. But um, when you have those curls sticking out of the top, it's the best. It's best to um, curl and set your hair, like curl it all up and leave it, and then pull it down because then your curls are really bouncy and you have a lot going on up there that makes it really cute. I'm going to just secure, you guys can see the back of this. Hope I'm in the frame. I just kind of have it in a little bit of a bun with some at the top. It's not like fully wrapped. So I'm going to start pinning this up. Hopefully I can get it to stay. I have kind of thick hair, so 
Usually if I try to secure it with bobby pins, it takes the entire bag of bobby pins. <laughs> so I'm pinning it up, just pinning it, pinning it, pinning it like so. Okay, don't fall on me here. So we're up, we're good, our hair is up. Now, um, when you roll the bandana for the up look, it's a little bit different. It's not complicated at all. And um, when I figured it out, I was like, really? That's all I had to do? <laughs> so um, again, you're gonna do your triangle, like so. Um, usually a lot of bandanas have writing on um, some of the corners. So always make sure you look for that so you don't have the writing in the tie at the front because then you'll look silly, <laughs> which I do. Um, so we're gonna do this step one. Step one is triangle, okay? Take the point, fold it in just a teeny bit, like so, okay? Then you're gonna fold that to the edge, okay? So you wanna get rid of that point so it's not so long and then you're going to fold it one more time so it looks like this, okay? So point in just a tad, fold the point in just a little and then fold it again so it's all even and you have a fully even scarf like so. Then when you put it on, you want the point to be at the facing up. You don't want it down because then it could fall. Also the way that the bandana is shaped, the sides come up Better, so when you tie it you're not fighting against the natural direction of the bandana so my point is up like so I'm gonna put it at the base I'm gonna kind of pull it give myself some tension and I'm just gonna pull it right up just like this just like this and tie it see that now the wider look is what gives it more of that um, that vintage Rosie the Riveter look. I was tying it, before I knew how to tie it wider, I was just tying it the same way that I did um, my down hairstyle, and it's not the same effect. It's not as um, dramatic. So, but that's all you have to do. I just tied it right up like this. You can kind of fold it in a teeny bit if you want to kind of give it a better shape, fix your now, um, when you do this, look, if you have Betty Bings like me, um, they're really put on display. They're right up front and personal, so you have to make try and make sure that they're as clean as possible. I cut mine myself, and I work really hard on them to have them as clean and even as possible, but I know that it's hard. That's all you have to do. Those are three really simple pin-up rockabilly hairstyles with a bandana. Bandana of your choice to match your outfit. Um, I usually rock a red one most of the time, it's my favorite, um, but I just got this fun one at Walmart the other day for a dollar, and it's leopard print, and you can't beat leopard print, so. But there you go, you got your Rosie the Riveter look. What do you think there? <laughs>
and the pedal pushers. I mean, I can go on and on. They've got everything, so make sure you guys check out their website at vivianofholloway.com, and I'm going to show you guys some pictures of all of the other amazing items that they have on their shop. Mixing fire with gasoline Sun so hot it's gonna make you scream You got me running all night long It feels so good it makes me strong You got me caught in your hobby When I think of you I think of fun Say it again, you are number one What you want I'll give it to you Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Fiasco. I, 
Well, cool. We're here to let the viewers at Pen Up America know all about you guys, the Punk Necks. So you guys put on a fabulous show the other day. What kind of music do you guys play? It's a punky tonkin bluegrass musical fiasco. Yes, musical and fiasco. extravaganza. Motley Crue grass. Yeah. Motley Crue grass. Yes. yes, but not the kind you're thinking of. Yes. Different kind. Yes. Better. Yes. Better. <laughs> There's some of that going on. Yeah, is there some of that? Oh yeah. All right. Well, um, so tell me, besides Tampa, you guys are coming back to Tampa in March, right? Yes. Yes. yes we'll be there March, March second. I'm thinking this might third. be a good time for me to come back to Ybor City and do some work with Pinup America. That would be too. awesome. We should definitely, awesome. we should all do totally. some work with Pinup America. And, and that way we can get this girl. Yeah, we can get this girl in front of the camera, which is what we'd originally planned because this beautiful face needs to be in some photos. That's I would right. love she to. Does. All right, and I know Papa Pinup offered that to you, so yes. we got to get you back there and get you we photographed. Do. This yep, time you don't leave off. my clutches. Yes. You do not leave my clutches and go That's run right. off of the circus. I know. I, I ran off the punk neck circus this time, and I found my way back. Sometimes trouble leads you to different places. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Let's talk about some of those places. Where are you guys going next? Uh, the Alton, Illinois tomorrow, then uh, somewhere else in Illinois, then Chicago. On Chicago. The night. And then we go to... Uh, Ohio. Oh, and then we go to Max Bar in Lansing oh, on Michigan. December 10th. And then Fort Wayne on the 11th. And then uh, Youngstown, Ohio on December 14th. I think and we hit Indiana, too. The 19th, we have uh, Peckin, Illinois. So you guys are just going everywhere, Midwest. But our favorite shows yes. are going to be December 21st here at the Blue Bar. Nashville, Blue Bar. Tennessee. Yeah. And I'm from right somewhere else, Illinois. Somewhere else, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere else. We found him in a basket outside of a When club. he was a wee baby. When he was a wee 30 years old, he was in the basket with a little diaper. And they found him. Yeah. He Stuck grew on so the fast. They, with a, they grow up so fast. They do. We call him Baby, Baby, Baby Brooksy. Oh. <laughs> baby Brooksy. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so besides that, you guys love sex. Love sex. I've heard that. You talk about <laughs> sex a lot in your show, actually. Yes. All kinds of deviant sex. We love deviant sex. Male, female. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> These two. It's amazing it's what you can do with cantaloupes and ferals. Quite a wild ride with these two. Um, so if people want to come check out your music like online or figure out where you guys are going to be, where do they go to check Punk that stuff out? Punknext.com. 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 And can we see your videos there? Are you guys making yeah. videos? Do you have videos got already? Video we do. Videos coming we out. actually have a lot of stuff in the works right now. We've got music video. We've got a rockumentary coming out on and DVD. And the worst live videos you ever see on YouTube in your life, but we're working on that. And we've got uh, we've got uh, more music coming out. We've got a few albums online already. A DVD about CD us baby, the iTunes. Country. Tough um, stuff. Lots of stuff. All right, we're going to pull up some of that stuff on uh, Pin Up America and show it to some of our viewers and give them a full perspective of you. And we're also going to show them uh, all the pictures that Papa Pin Up took of you guys the other night in Tampa. We love him. They love, love you, Papa. Papa. That's right. All right. Well, thank Papa, you guys. I want to be a Pin Up girl. Check it out. <laughs> Check out um, punknext.com. All right, you guys. Bye. Love you.
Vintage Doll, who did her little hair tutorial on Rosie the Riveter. So cute and very, very helpful hints and tips for doing hair. And then I showed you guys a featured guest, Vivian of Holloway, with all their amazing selection of pinup attire. So make sure you guys stick around for next week's show and see what we have in store. Thank you guys so much. Bye! -bye.